what are you trying to avoid when you say solutions and a black guy on the industry? What what are the pos what are the, the potential issues that you're trying to avoid when you're engineering something for a customer? Are we talking about leaks or like, what are the potential? You know, that's a that's a great simple question. Uh, you know, and that's those are the questions that we want our customers to ask mm -hmm. because, you know. <laughs> You know, a quarter inch piece of steel is a quarter inch piece of steel is a quarter inch piece of steel. Now, they get steel from somewhere else. And they might have different things that are into it and it doesn't last as well. Mm -hmm. From fiberglass, it's a hand layup process unless you're going to be closed molding it. But there's so many things in terms of the chemistry that goes on to it. And you have to have that experience to know, you know, how thick you're going to build it. You know, how, how, where are you going to put your ribbing profile? Uh, how you can do your secondary bonding. You, you got to make sure because it, there is a little bit of a black magic to fiberglass mm -hmm. until you're into it and you understand it. But, you know, a guy who builds a boat um, mixes part A and part B together. Well, this is really cool. I built a boat. Now I can build a tank. Mm -hmm. and, and, and they can't, you know, because it's, it's a whole different level of, of engineering. And so you got to make sure you take the wind loads into place when you're building a, a stack. Uh, you got to understand that, you know, one in a hundred year wind uh, you got to take, uh, you know, in BC, you got earthquakes, mm -hmm. so you got you got to take that into consideration. So you got to structurally build this thing, and not only that, though, then you got to take the chemicals into consideration because your resin suppliers will say you have to do certain things to this resin to be able to handle those chemicals, and if you're not covering your bases in all those areas, now you got a tank that lasts you five years instead of twenty years. Mm -hmm. And and so we're trying to educate our customers, like not everybody can build a tank. You want to have a good fabricator that can be able to give you the proper direction and give you that length. They're, they're, they're happy with a tank that lasts four, four or five years and they say, okay, well, I guess that's fiberglass and we'll go ahead and reline it. And they, they spent $100,000 to reline a tank. So you want to make sure that, you know, they have the experience uh, in that we've been around since 1961. We are the oldest fabricator, uh, fiberglass fabricator in Canada. Really? Um, so it's, you know, we've been around for a long time. Now, I haven't been along that, around that long, but, you know, there's a lot of case histories that we've done um, and so it's we take a lot of pride into what we provide uh, for solutions to our customers when it comes to stuff like that.